Just thought we'd do a quick update. We added a feather duster during the week and the flow is uh, bushing him around a little bit. It keeps getting a bit too close to um, to this one. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I can secure it. The, the problem is to keep this uh, blowing around like it does we're relying on a little bit of flow from that pump return pipe coming around this corner and just evening off the flow that's coming in from the left hand side so not quite sure what to do with him yet I've got a problem with the base of this however I put the rock it seems to topple over at night and need straightening up again virtually every day but that's looking pretty pretty good as well I don't know whether you saw on the clown that's out at the moment they've uh, definitely paired up one is definitely now female and the other one is male they've got lots of black markings appearing on them I don't know whether he'll yeah, come around here there you go so uh, I don't know whether that's normal, I'm hoping it's not, it's not something that's wrong with them. Perhaps somebody else will have a look at that and, uh, and let me know. They seem pretty happy. There, you could just see there on the flanks. The other one is... Oh, there's the shrimp. He happily spends his life under there and comes out for food during the evening where the other one's hiding but no matter so that's the overall look at the moment um, what else have we done ah yes I'm, uh, I don't know whether this will show I'm just going to turn the two power compacts off I don't suppose the auto white balance will allow this to work but I've added a blue moonlight LED strip and to my eyes all the corals are fluorescing really nicely now uh, the mushroom now are these mushrooms or are they toadstools and is that a mushroom or a toadstool I forget which way around it is but um, to my eyes now they look green the green tips of this are all fluorescing uh, that looks really good and uh, all of those are fluorescing but I'm pretty certain you're not going to see that uh, on the camera unfortunately so let me turn the power compacts back on what I've done is I have used the epoxy I don't know whether this will expose correctly yeah I think it will There's epoxy on the end of the strip which is uh, this bit just here and I've angled it down towards the middle uh, hopefully you can see that other end as well and then the cable runs down the side of the hood and we've got an on off switch here which will also be on a timer at some point and the difference is uh, well it looked without that blue light being on the tank has a yellowish tinge to it as soon as you fire up the the blue LED strip everything looks white the sand looks white now yeah, that sort of thing so very pleased with that I'm not even sure I'm going to bother upgrading anything to LEDs I think I'm quite happy with the way this looks as long as everything grows okay uh, yeah I just don't think we'll, uh, we'll bother the other thing I tried is this uh, calc dripper you'll remember from the other day. What I've done is just put a hole through, if that will focus, through the lid, cut the acrylic pipe to suit, hopefully this will expose, and the pipe just sits there now and drips into the water. It's quite a high flow area so it gets mixed in pretty quick I have managed to get this to drip once every 40 seconds it's on about 10 or 12 I think at the moment so it's perfect 
for a kelp dripper and it's perfect if we go away for two or three days because the amount that that actually holds uh, will top up the tank for well, two, three, four days without any problems at all. The lights are making this base quite warm and I've put it on a silicon mat so the actual temperature of the liquid is uh, you know is quite reasonable as well um, when I don't need that we just lift it up and away so that's about it I think uh, very pleased with the, the LEDs quite a useful addition to have for topping it up I have ordered some parts, I'm going to make another auto top up unit based on a peristaltic pump. I've got two of the pumps, uh, we've both bought two uh, black aluminium cases. The idea is to have a shelf, black shelf here with everything on so we can run top off, sorry, top off units if we don't want to use this at any point. So if we go away for a week or whatever we can run that. Um, yeah, probably a controller for the light possibly, but I think the main uh, thing will be to get an emergency backup for the heater system. As I discussed before, I should be running two heaters uh, together uh, with two STC-1000s, so they've both got uh, stuck-on failure uh, protection and if one heater fails uh, and the temperature drops by a couple of degrees the other heater will then take over although it will be at that lower temperature so yeah, oh, it shrimps out it was the only way I could see to uh, get that to work with uh, you know, complete fail protection and over temperature fail so there we go, no idea where the other clown is, probably hiding around the back there. So that's it, nearly two months after setting this up. All the water parameters remain okay. Haven't fired up the G6 yet, but that will hopefully be on next week's uh, list of things to do. Had mostly good comments about the G6. And somebody else on YouTube said I've got to be absolutely crazy for for adding that to the system, but I'm going to give it a, give it a go and see what happens. So we can get a closer look at those spots. <clears throat> Don't know whether you can see that. Mostly on the other side, yeah, come on. <laughs> there we go. Catch you later.